In this video, I'm going to show you how to get the lower left corner of the full map screen to show our worked area. Right now you can see that it is currently set to our area efficiency. I'm going to go ahead and click on that icon. We have some different things here that we can view. In this case, we're going to go ahead and change this to our onboard computer number one worked area. Check mark. Now what we need to do is we need to go into our Vario dock menu. So we're going to minimize our full map screen. We're going to go to Vario dock main menu. And here we'll go to this tractor with the calculator, which is our onboard computer. First thing that we'll do is we'll turn on our onboard computer up here in the top right. We'll turn this number one on. Just in case if your tractor is not set to number one for whatever reason, down here we have this plus and minus for our calculator. So there's 10 different calculators that occur on this tractor. And in order for this to work, we have to be set to number one. So we'll set number one, we'll turn it on. The next thing now that we need to do is set our triggers for our onboard computer. So that's what we'll do down here, our Vario dock trigger settings. Now if you maybe remembered, we've, we've already set up an implement. And if we've set that implement up correctly, we already have a trigger set for that implement. If you would like more information on how that's done, please see my other videos as we go into that in depth. So because we've already set up a trigger on our implement, we don't need to set one up for the tractor. If we go over here and we change our mode from tractor to implement, now down here we can change uh, what implement we have selected. So we go ahead and go into our implement selection and we'll pick whatever implement that we're using. In this case we're going to use our disk so we would we would highlight the disk and we would hit the check mark but it's already set to that so I can't. One other thing to keep in mind is right here we can tell it to calculate our area up or down with in whatever direction of travel that we want. So if you have a reverse driving tractor it might be important to change this value to a, to a positive value so that it's counting upwards in reverse. So just keep that in mind. Now we'll go ahead, we'll hit our check mark. We'll go into our full map screen. Now as I drive the tractor, I get coverage applying. You'll notice now in the bottom left corner, it's actually counting our as applied um, map. Okay, now let's assume that we're done this particular field and now we need to clear that. So now what we have to do is we have to go back into our Vario dock, Vario dock main menu, have to go down here to our onboard computer, and right here we have the ability to shut that calculator off, so now it will no longer count. Or if we want to reset the values, we'll go ahead here and we'll set uh, these numbers to zero asks us if we want to really reset it, we'll select yes. Now those numbers are all reset, except for the clock. The clock is still counting because we have that number one calculator still turned on. Here if I go to the full map screen, you'll see that our acres have reset to zero. One thing to note is that every time you switch your implement, you have to come back into this onboard computer and you have to change your implement within your triggers in Vario Dock. So let's say we took our disk off and we installed our Harrows. Not only do you have to set up your implement selection within your Vario guide, you also have to come back here to our onboard computer trigger settings and we have to change our implement that we have set here. In that case we would change it from our disk to our Harrows so that our triggers work correctly again.